you know the drill by now. No video here. These are summer interns. My bad, boss. Yeah, they cleaned it. I bet you I draw better than your daughter. She's five. It's a dumpster fire. Okay. That's all I got for you. Let's make something better. I colored it in with crayons. I am a second grader. Thank you, kids, for sending in your pictures. I didn't know there was a thing. That was better than my playing career, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> really? Yeah. It was uh, longer. <laughs> um, that was awesome. I didn't. We had fun little drawings. We have more drawings. Uh, Summer intern Taylor Twelman is here. Hashtag Draw the World Cup. And we have a special appearance today. This is amazing. From Mrs. Brennan's class. They're from Dobbs Ferry, New York, Springhurst Elementary. Without further ado. Hello, Scott. Today is our last day of school before summer. But don't worry, we still have your soccer coverage. You're, You're welcome, SVP. Love it. Love it. How about um, Brazil, Costa Rica? Isabel. Took care of drawing that one for us. Uh, we have a bad beat in this one. I hope the children don't know what that's about. No, they won't. We'll explain it later. Taylor's got us covered there. Because apparently by that score, it wouldn't be a bad beat. It's okay. Some The scores, the, it's hard to count in kindergarten. Um, Serbia, Switzerland. So uh, everybody gets a trophy then, Scott? That's uh, how we're going to well, teach the kids right the now? The scores, is, uh, this wasn't, wasn't six to five either. But again, <laughs> the scores, th these children drew for us, and we appreciate their spirit and their passion. I hope the kids weren't watching when the guy was basically nude on the field. Then finally, <laughs> Iceland, Nigeria. And the, uh, my folks from Iceland, you guys got to pull yourselves together. Make your PKs. That was a huge yes. PK miss. Massive miss. As, uh, I like the rainbow at the top of that one. Yeah, that was Stella. Thank you, thank you again to Mrs. Brennan's Dobbs Ferry, New York, uh, Springhurst Elementary group. Uh, our our child uh, has drawn yes. for us. What, yep. are you, what can you tell so us? The first, Brazil, Costa Rica, hashtag bad beats. Yeah. Whether it's Costa Rica or Brazil, one and a half. But this is the mind of Neymar. Neymar's mm. all about drama. Would I get more attention if I dated a Kardashian? Mm -hmm. Were the ramen noodles a better look for my haircut in the first game? Mm -hmm. How many goals am I behind Pele and Ronaldo? If people think Pepe Dave dives, watch me. I think I'm going to cry now. And by the way, Pepe is still, still diving. Outstanding. Iceland, Nigeria. These are your Icelandic fans. Mm -hmm. See, and I did it on an angle because there's no clapping. No clap uh. because they were sad. Musa with two goals. But here's the best one. Messi in his hotel. Wearing Nigeria jersey. Ah, Pepe, Pepe still, still diving. diving. But the miss in the PK was big because now awesome. it means Argentina's still in play is here. Is it amazing? It really is. But they're not better than Nigeria. No, they're not. No, they're not. That's a great observation because the way Nigeria played against Iceland today, I'm thinking of Argentina and the way they played the other day and the way Nigeria sets up. Argentina's got their hands full because they do not match up well with Musa and that counterattack. Argentina can't defend anyone, and yet now they're going to go up against Nigeria. Everyone sits here and says, great, Argentina's got a lifeline. Yes, but I'm not completely sold. They know what to do with it. it do we know for certain about these rumors that, that Argentina and the coaches, is, is it just rumors? Is it, is it the Internet? Is it chatter? Do you buy any of you it? You can't really trust the press in Argentina because okay. they're going to create anything. Okay. It's as if Diego Maradona is writing the headlines. I say that tongue-in-cheek, but yeah. I also say that maybe he is. I'm not sure. But when you look at Argentina right now, doesn't surprise me whatsoever. No. I said they were a dumpster fire coming into the tournament. They're a dumpster fire right now, but they have the, arguably the best player in the world. He could save them again the way he did in World Cup qualifying, and then all of a sudden everybody's saying, hey, Argentina's good again. Two nations to, that, will, that will be in rapt attention over the weekend, Germany and Mexico, as we look ahead towards the weekend. What's more important? Oh, my goodness. That's a real good question. I would say Mexico because I'm still completely sold on Germany. They've never been in this spot in the last four or five World Cups. They've won their first opening game. So all the pressure in the world's on them. Germany handles pressure very well. Mexico's never been in this. Hey, Scott, they didn't get a result against Germany in any of the previous World Cups. So now what do they do? Are they reading the headlines? Are their chests too broad? Or do they think they can literally run away with the tournament and remind everyone that the, the team that finishes second, guess who you get? Arguably Brazil. So Mexico traditionally lays an egg in this game. I'd beware if I'm South Korea because South Korea could steal a point and then all of a sudden Germany beats Sweden and they're right back into the tournament. All right. Just so you know, for planning purposes, we will be gone for a little bit. 
Uh, but then we're going to be back next Saturday when the most imp ne the important next oh, stage yeah. begins. Knockout round games. Hashtag draw the World Cup. So please continue drawing. Um, Pepe still diving. Pepe will always be diving. All ABD always be diving. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit with, with more from our summer intern. And Scott will be making trout soup. Try the trout soup. <laughs> I just spit. <laughs>